So I'm getting ready to install this door here on the side. Oh, my 51 inches up here. And it's gonna drop down all the way, well, whatever the height of this frame is, 51 inches down. I have a, I have a stud here, I have a stud there, and I have a stud here. So I'm gonna have to remove this middle stud. It's right there. And it's actually going to be steps steps kind of like that it's going to be built in steps so you just step um directly into the into the truck rather than having external steps that fold out um i really am not a big fan of those fold out steps i prefer to have it just built in and sturdy kind of like that i still have to weld this bottom piece i didn't have this it's like a little scrap piece that i had cut out the notches that goes into it go weld that real quick i got lucky because look how thick this is a quarter inch thick compared to to this really thin metal here this is super thin i've had problems with this i guess it, it already cracked in, in the past before so i welded the heck out of this both the, the front and the back i got this piece welded a couple welds there So the drop here is about 15 and a half inches. This drop is about 18 inches. All right, so I just removed all three panels here, the insulation. So the hole where I need to be, or at least my cut, has got to be through here, which is it is actually halfway through this stud right here. And then my other hole goes here. I had a few trial errors there, but it goes here and it's gonna go all the way down to like right where this tape is at. This, I will have to remove all of these rivets and then move it over to like right here where it lines up to this, to this hole right there. And this is where I'm at right now. Um, I did start cutting into the, as, as you can see, I did start cutting into the side of the door. I started cutting this frame here. I don't know if you guys can see, but the frame is cut right there. So I'm going to cut out a square right here. And I, have to, I already cut this frame here, so everything's pretty much cut. The other thing I've done inside here, so there was this cross beam right here going down this center here. So what I did is I cut it and I moved it over flipped it upside down I'm gonna rivet it into this section here and I'm gonna use this as my as my door jam for framing of the door and then I'm going to cut into the bottom here I already cut this brace down here as you can see and sliced all the way up I had to cut into this section here because my line was inside this frame here so I just cut this section here so that's it. I cut this whole thing out. I just got to cut this section and that little piece and this whole thing drops out. My rough opening here. My rough opening here. Alright, it seems to go in just fine in here. Alright, so here's my door frame. It's framed in. So this is what it looked like mounted on. All right, so I'm sitting here just pondering how I'm going to install this staircase. So originally I was thinking just, you know, making the, the frame of the staircase there. However, um, you know, just knowing me, I already know that I'm going to want to make those stair little staircases modular or um, multi-use. So I was thinking of just making a square box and then just having the this little steps, the actual step open like lids so I can stick stuff inside. 
And then I, I took a step further as I was analyzing how I was going to do that. I still have this whole section here. Um, this section here that, I, that I'm eventually going to cover up. Um, you know, this corner here is kind of funky because, um, you know, the as far as paneling goes, just a straight shot, that's super easy. But here it's going to be kind of funny. It's going to be, you know, not, not impossible. It's going to be fiberglass molded and whatnot. But the point behind that is that once um, I have that enclosed there, that's going to be just an open cavity there that I can use. So I'm going to frame up the box there. And then I'm going to frame up something here so that... I can open one of the steps or both of the steps, open it up and then just stick, you know, stick stuff inside here in this whole cavity here. So that is, that's the plan. That's the, the new plan. Whatever the case, whatever I do, it needs to be super secured. I got metal framing up here that I can weld onto um, and then from here to there, weld that there. The steps will be made out of wood but most of the framing will be out of metal it's still kind of pre-hung it's not necessarily installed all the way i'm holding everything by one screw i'm going to replace those with rivets um i still need to put butyl tape and seal it whether to seal it the whole thing um i welded this frame down here so that's what the the frame looks like from the inside or from underneath so I did a L bracket here and L bracket here and I did a little L bracket on the bottom welded it directly onto the onto the chassis of the truck so I have one step here so far and this thing this thing is on there tight all right this is how we we're looking so far everything's in place this is welded on everything's just placed on top I'm about to remove everything paint it and then reassemble it just using old plywood reclaimed plywood alright sorry guys it's late it's already dark um, you know it's not really that late but it's dark right now so um, do the best I can to show you what's going on so it's pretty much done already um, I got the butyl tape sealed in the back I painted the sides um, this is just regular um, oil paint once it dries completely I'm gonna caulk it all the way around and then spray some rubberized some flex seal this is the rubberized um, liquid rubber I still need to put butyl tape on this on this window here but you know it's on there for now so that's uh, already plumbed and level it's you know same same thing on this side I need to put a some kind of hook or something to hold this door open it stays open right now because of the angle it's in but this is it uh, this part here I just kind of left it loose this little step right here the step is kind of um, temporary remember eventually I'm gonna remove this wall here and then make it um, access to to this whole section here once I build the, the fiberglass um, piece there uh, so this is all screwed in there's two pieces this is a two piece right here um, I just put this little piece because I ran out of um, of wood. So uh, yeah, just this is all scrap, scrap wood. Everything here is our stuff I already had. I didn't have to buy anything. So 
on the soft scrap wood I already had uh, so that's why it's kind of different colors here but this is it this is the final product for now you know this thing is on solid you know it's uh, welded at several points um, you know it's welded pretty good I'm pretty confident about the welds so Again, sorry it's kind of dark, but there she is.